Hi folks, Bob the Chemist here. I'm uh, interested in trying to record some experiences I've had with the VA REST plugin, which is a plugin that allows us to connect to uh, online API or REST servers. There's a, there are a bunch of, our, of uh, tutorials, well, a couple tutorials already on the internet, but it looks like some of the recent updates to the plugin have made some of these videos obsolete. So this uh, video is one part uh, uh, documentation for me to remember what I've actually done. First to show off, we've got the uh, VA REST plugin that's been installed from the uh, Epic Unreal Engine Marketplace, and we're using version um, R30 of the, uh, uh, of the plugin with the uh, 4.25 Unreal Engine. And what I'm interested in doing is uh, just seeing if I can use a, uh, um, uh, the REST API to change the text in, this, uh, in the default third person map right, uh, uh, right here. There's a nice website, Open Weather Map, that has a free API uh, available and you can go and log in and sign up for a, an account here if you would like but they actually also have a couple um, sample APIs that I'm going to use in this so you don't even need to sign up for anything you just need to uh, um, hop on over to uh, uh, to this website grab the uh, uh, the link that's in one of these sample uh, API calls and that's going to work just fine for our purposes so let's go ahead and start up Click on the third person text render there, and we're going to create a, uh, a, a blueprint. And in this blueprint, we're not going to need the event tick. And one of the first things that we need to uh, need to do is uh, reference the VA REST subsystem, which apparently is something that is new. Um, that isn't hasn't made its rounds into other tutorials yet. Without that, uh, it makes things very very difficult for uh, uh, for us to follow some of the older tutorials. Now we can start by constructing a uh, a JSON object. Notice uh, context sensitive is not necessarily your friend at this point, um, so I'm going to just create an object here. And grab that. And now from here, we can call our URL. So this is where we would put our, in our information about the, uh, uh, about, the, uh, uh, about the API. Notice that the subsystem object reference is required for the called URL. And once that's in there, and we've got this connected to the JSON. We're in good shape now. All we need is the uh, is the URL, and we'll take this one right here. We'll come back to seeing what that looks like in just a second. Okay. Once we've got everything there set, we do need to create a new custom event. And we'll call this REST callback. And here's one of the other changes. Some of the functions that you'll see in older tutorials are regular functions, whereas that have now been converted into uh, pure functions, which has caused some problems. So get response object is one of those. Once we've got the response object, so this is going to be the reference to the uh, to the JSON. If we take a look at the one that I'm looking at here, I'm actually interested in printing this text right here, light intensity drizzle. So that is first in the weather field. The weather field, as indicated by the brackets, is an array, so I'm going to need to get an array first. It turns out that uh, the array only has one element, so I'll just get that first element. And then I'll need to get a text string uh, called, uh, called description. So that's my, uh, my approach here. So the first thing I'm going to do is get an array field. 
call that description. And we will get, now context sensitive is helpful. Let's see where array is. And now we need to convert that to an object. Again, we need to get rid of context sensitive so that we can actually see it down here in JSON. Connect those two. Next thing we're going to need to do is uh, we've got this, uh, uh, this object, which is the description. And in the, um, I'm sorry. Let's go back and take a look here. The original field is called the weather. And it's the weather, that's the array, that has description in it. Now we want to get description, and this is a string field. And the last thing that I'll want to do is set this, uh, set the text, context sensitive is going to be useful here, set the text of the text renderer to be that value. Okay, so there we are, our blueprint. Let's see if that compiles properly. It does. Let's see now if third person changes to the text that I want. And it looks like there's a light intensity drizzle in, uh, in our third person uh, default map. So there you have it, a short, uh, short tutorial. I will uh, post a higher res image of this uh, of this map so that you go or this blueprint so that you could try to follow along with it and i hope that you find this somewhat useful